This is automated rotary bread, designed and manufactured by young Ghanaians living in Ghana. I keep on telling you guys that Africa is the future. And anytime I say Africa is the future, what I'm trying to tell you is that the young Africans are willing to change the narrative of this beautiful continent. Can you just believe it? They designed this in Ghana. And you know what? The reason why they did this is to solve a problem. What is the problem? In Ghana, we have shortage of beds in hospitals. So they decided to what? Come up with their own solution. I don't even want to talk too much, but do me a favor, like the video, share this video, because I personally want everyone to have a piece of this video. I'm not the one who designed it though. First of all, I want to say, are you cool to both of you for solving Ghana's problem? Okay. I want to know, first of all, what is this machine called? Okay, um, it's an automated rotary bed for babies. Automated, automated rotary bed for babies. So what is the function of this? Okay, so the function is, um, it's, this is five in one bed. So you have five in one bed, and then there's an exit point here. So you can put your babies on it, right? And you can have access to the baby whenever you need it, as and when you need a baby, right? And the reason why we have this here mm -hmm. is to save space in our hospitals and then provide more beds but, at the but, same time. But what, what actually came into your mind for you to design something like this? Okay, um, we wanted to build a car parking system. Okay rotary car parking system. So that is what we wanted to do. But later, we had to change our minds and then decide to come up with this because we saw a video somewhere last year that was circulating at uh, Mensha Hospital. Okay. Babies were sleeping on the floors and so we decided to, instead of having the car parking system, why not rotary beds? So that we'll have babies um, um, sleeping on the comfortable bed that can rotate. Does it mean that you want to provide the hospital with this bed? Of course. Of course. Are you the one who designed it? Yes, please. And who built it then? So I did the design and he put the pieces together. Hey. He did the metal work. Imo, you did the metal work. What are you metal work? You know? uh, Why are you metal work in China? Oh, then. We ain't check. Five years. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know no. design manner. how to cut the whole thing, right? Okay. And then he will do the welding and then the assembly. So just two of you came yeah. together yes. to do this. Yes. Well, I, I really want to know how it works before I, 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 I ask you my next questions, man. Can, can you guys do a demonstration for us to see how it works? Yeah, so we have to go to the other side where the, the main control board is. So, so what you have here are the switches that control the bed, right? And then each bed has a tag inside. Mm. And so the numbers here represent each tag. Okay attached to each of the beds. So if I press on one, that means I'm calling bed one to be at the exit point here. So I can pull it out like this and then have access to the bed. See, I, w I want baby number three. Baby number three. I was born on 3rd of March. Okay, so, so you call bed three, you press bed three switch. So here, the display here is for the bed number. So three, that is, we're calling bed three and it is loading. Three ready, right? Good. So it has identified battery. So are you sure it's battery that is gonna come out? Of course. So you can then pull out. Okay, the ground is not level. Pull battery out like this. Then you pick your baby. What shows that this is battery? Of the the tag inside. 
shows that it is bad three. I have numbered. We have numbered them. So four is here. This is that four. is three. This is three. Yes. Whoa. It will not miss. So it is the tag that identifies the bed what? and the baby. So once you put your baby on it, you'll be given that number. So mm. your baby is number one. one. Listen, I, I, I want to know. Ima, come, come closer to me. What, what has been the major challenge trying to build or manufacture this in Ghana? Okay, um, the problem is with precision. When it comes to manufacturing, you know, we don't have a lot of tools and machines, like laser cutters, um, late machines. We don't have some. Some are available, but they charge us. Right? Good. So we had to manually do the design, do the cutting ourselves, right? And then put the pieces together. So the challenge is we have some um, production errors. We have some minor, minor errors because of precision. And this is a precision machine, mm. right? And it should balance. Whatever is here, that is here, yeah. should balance what is, what is here, right? Yeah, so that is the major challenge that we have. How long did it take you guys to build this? Uh, almost six months, somewhere June last year that we started. And we're doing it on weekends, only on weekends. This is a prototype, right? Yes. So which means that, are you guys ready for mass production? Of course. I believe that's why you are here. <laughs> you are here because, because of because that. Because of mass production. If, if, it's, yeah. if it's just this, I, want to, I don't think you'll be here. You see, I want to say something here. Yeah. What I've seen in here, I'll say that these guys are genius. They are very creative, very innovative. I, I'm an engineer myself, yeah, but I never thought like someday I'll sit down to design and manufacture this. Do, do you have any engineering background? I studied physics. You did physics? Yes. So you applied your physics knowledge in here? Yes. And then he applied um, the, the welding, welding. Yes. Yes, skills that he learned. So we made everything here inside this small shop. Let me let come inside. Come. Let me. This is the manufacturing factory, yeah? This is where everything was done. I tell you. This is where we did everything. Here. So we're keeping the bed inside here. Right? Mm. Uh, Saturday morning we come open. We do something small. We are done for the day. So everything was done here. Listen, I, I really, really want to support, and I know the whole world is watching us right now. Okay. What is that one thing that you want us to do to help you? Okay, um, it is support that we need. What kind of support? We Make need that clear. support. Um, financial support, one, and then um, any other support. In terms of knowledge, we are ready, yes. I think this is one thing that the government needs to come in so that we can produce more beds for the hospital. I mean, how many beds can this contain? Um, this is five now it done. is five, that is inside. Yeah. But per the size of the mainframe, it can take ten. But we limited ten. it to five for the, because of the prototype. You guys are solving a problem. Yes. I, I watched his video, he said he loved babies. Yes. <laughs> He love babies, eh? Yes. Okay, so you have to get yourself a wife and give birth. Oh, you love every baby. Yeah. <laughs> I myself, I, I, I saw the video. I wasn't here. Okay. So the guy came to meet the baby. I said, man, let's take a, do a short video and put it out there. No. That's how come he was the only one in that video. Yeah. Yes, but it was a teamwork. Yeah, but, but I, I, I love the fact that you guys have been able to come up with this, which is going to solve a lot of problems. And I'm going to do my part in terms of getting you guys all the necessary support that you need. Um, you guys should come closer to me, man. Uh, come closer to me. These are young Africans who have been able to come up with something like this. I need investors to help you guys build more of this, yeah. And even this year, I declared as a year of charity. How much does it cost to build one of these? Uh, the prototype cost us about 10,000 cities. So if I give you 10,000 cities, will you build one for me? Oh, yeah. First of all, I am giving 10,000 Ghana city. Okay. For you guys to build the same thing, 
and then we're gonna donate to any hospital in Ghana. Okay. I've done my part. What are you doing? Because I, I, I want I want this video to change their lives, man, and that is why I'm here. So do me a favor, like this video, share. I mean, any social media platform that you have that you know that uh, when somebody watch the video, they're gonna help them do so and let do this for them so that whatever hospital that you go in Ghana, wherever hospital you go in across the continent, Africa, you can find their innovation in there. What is your final message for Africans or the world watching us? What's your final message? Um, the message I'll have for my fellow Africans is um, we have a lot of problems and we shouldn't expect others to come solve it for us. Whoa. Uh, for instance, others have enough space when you go to their hospitals. They will not think of something like this. So it is our responsibility to identify the challenges in our society, pay attention to them with the little skills that we have. We can put the pieces together and come up with something great. Oh, my boy, you too. Because my mother is school and money pay you. I want to school. Oh, you're quite Jesus. I last school I was The Jesus now The movie now. Jesus I'm Okay. Now, I said, we Papa Wayne. Eh, Papa Wayne. Oh, designing. you know. I said, oh, we. So, I I'm I'm my, my brother, are you also a GSS graduate? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a, a BSc in physics. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. You did that in which university? K University. K University. Oh, are you applying the physics in real life now? Oh. I mean, I'm I, applying it wherever I find it. I'm impressed of what you guys have been able to achieve. Okay. I want to say keep up the good work, keep up the teamwork, and I'll be back again to see this video the effect of this video and um yeah Iman, thank you so much and um i didn't even i don't you didn't tell me your name abel abel charlie thank you all right and i appreciate your time all right thank you too thank you for coming too all right